Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Out of nowhere yesterday, we had our first look inside the next FIFA, even though it's not called that, with a cover reveal and a trailer for the new EAFC 24. So along with our normal FIFA 23 content and market video today, I want to take you through this EAFC 24 news and why some people are very confused about some of the images that we have seen. So if you're excited for this new game, all this information, drop a thumbs up on the video and of course subscribe if you're new. First of all, let's start where EA started yesterday with this tweet right here showing us the ultimate edition cover for FC 24 and this is where it all started guys because this is where we got confused. We started looking at some of the players on this cover, and it's very different normally than we, what we see for a cover. Usually it's one player on the cover with an action shot, like Mbappe, like we've had in previous years. But this year, we're going for 31 players on this cover. And when you zoom in, which is what you really don't want to do, that's where the issues arise, right? You take a look at some of these player faces in here. Ronaldinho, just, it looks a little bit off, guys. When you look at these images, I'm sure a lot of you have seen this. The real question is, was this intentional by EA or uh, is this the actual graphics from inside of the game? Of course, you look at Sokka, um, who's a little hard to see at the moment. Let me zoom in a bit more. Sokka right there. Like, guys, that that image on Sokka does not look like him at all, right? It looks very different. Same thing with Pirlo. Pirlo looks scared out of his mind, man. So you look through this, the images on this team. I mean, some of the, the players in here, the guys and the girls, they look accurate. Like, I would say Vinny. Holland and Sam Kerr all look like themselves, but not everybody in this picture does. Jude Bellingham, I mean, kind of looks like himself. Rashford kind of looks like himself, but like Ronaldinho, Saka, uh, some of these players in here. I mean, Isak looks pretty much like himself as well, over the, as well over there on the left. So it was just confusing to see this and everybody in an uproar in the comments down below like, uh, EA, what is this? Like, what are these images? What is this cover? Uh, why does it look like this? Now, just after EA posted this cover, they also went on to post an official trailer for EAFC. And what I want to do in this video with you guys today is just kind of take a quick look through this trailer really fast, let it play through. I'll make a couple comments over it and point out maybe some things that you maybe have missed if you watch this the first time. If you haven't seen it at all, it is in the link of this video as well if you want to see the raw footage itself. But let's take a quick look through this because there's a lot in here, a lot of hidden things that I think are very interesting to point out. 30 years of packing the stands and putting you on the pitch. But it's time to get closer. In the dressing room with Pep. This is a whole different game. This is what I want to talk about first, right? You see there in the beginning, 30 years being on the pitch. What they're doing right here in this part of the video is saying, EA, we're acknowledging uh, that the end of the FIFA era has happened, right? We are now not in the normal, the past 30 years that FIFA has been a part of this. We are no longer a part of that. It is now going to bring this game to a whole new level and a whole new experience. One that spirit can't be broken. Got the women in the other locker room as well. It's close. Icons become just... All right, speaking of icons, as you see here is Zidane with the official icon kit. First time we get to see the icon kit in the EAFC 24 uh, change up, I guess you could say. One thing I noticed is check out right here. You can see UT instead of foot. It's ultimate team instead of FIFA ultimate team. See some of the branding with that change. That's probably going to be consistent throughout the rest of this video and throughout the rest of the year on ultimate team. Teammates. Now, the next thing I want to point out, see Jude Bellingham. Transfers, tons of transfers in this video, everywhere. Players that have just moved, even like really, really recent transfers that you're going to see here in a second. Like right here, in this clip right here, before we get there, Phil Foden rizzing it up right here with a women's footballer. And uh, one mistake in this video as well. Benteke and Insigne. Insigne is what? Five foot three, five foot four? Benteke is like six foot three, so literally a foot taller than him. But in this video, he just shows us maybe like the same height or an inch or two taller. That's very interesting. Highest generations. Gives us legends to learn. Jesus Ferrer making an appearance. To become better. And Marta, right? Everybody's looking for Marta to be potentially one of the first, if not the first, uh, women's icons in the game. So she's making an appearance on the cover and in this trailer. It dares us to take risks, and we back those. Boom. James Madison, another transfer. That transfer literally happened like a week and a half ago. That's really recent from EA. GG's for being up to date. We do the same. And then we get our first bit of gameplay with a nice Vinicius Jr. finesse shot. 
And boom, we're back into the tunnel with a very interesting animation of Erling Holland walking. Your childhood club. It doesn't look all that natural. Alexis McAllister uh, with a do? transfer there. It's play. Ronaldinho. That's what brings us closer. And then boom, I really love this scene. This scene is, I think, telling us a lot. With, but without saying it, it's kind of confirming mixed um, men's and women's available to be played in the same team and on the same pitch at the same time. We kind of confirming that with this closer view right here. Game. Right, you see Holland, Marta, Son, Sam that. Kerr all walking out to the pitch at the same time. Oh, Beautiful good. ending. And you're in good company. Just kind of like the cover photo Welcome as well the of the Ultimate Edition, all the players there at the end. Boom. So that is the trailer. I'll leave the link down below in the description once again. Um, and the biggest part of all this is there's so many little Easter eggs hidden inside there, right? There's so many things that EA kind of change and show that we have to like deep dive and read into. Now, all in all, does that tell us a lot? It really doesn't tell us that much. It just kind of shows us a few things that we kind of already confirmed that we knew through the leaks. Now, one thing that's very interesting, guys, is EA is doing a full reveal of this on July 13th. So this Thursday, if you want to learn more about Ultimate Team, we'll be looking at it live on stream. That link is down below in the description as well. We'll be reacting to that live. We'll be talking all things EAFC. And um, yeah, I'm excited for that. Now, overall, between the cover photo and the actual trailer itself, I mean, we're still really confused with this cover photo. Like, I don't understand what's going on here because even if you look at, like, uh, like Holland in this cover photo compared to the graphics, like, in here, like, it, he looked way better inside of the actual, like, footage in this trailer than he does on this cover photo. So I don't understand what's going on with this, but I think the trailer is really sick. Like, that might be one of the better trailers for a new FIFA game that I think I've ever seen. Just all of the cinematography in there, I don't know if that's a word or not, but the cinematic right it just it was super duper sick the storyline that was inside of it was really cool all the players pet being in there the icons it was really really cool so big w in my opinion and uh, i'm excited to learn a bit more now let's turn it back to fiva 23 the game that we're currently in because there's a lot going on in this game as well we had one big sbc yesterday i want to look at yesterday's content and look ahead into today on tuesday as well because hopefully ea gives us something that we can craft and that we can grind because we are desperately needing an sbc to craft now yesterday we had one but it was really easy to do and not as much of a craft as i think this game would really benefit from an 83 times 25 upgrade pack repeatable every other day so that means i think we'll be able to do it twice you'll be able to do it yesterday or if you haven't done it yet right now and then you'll be able to do it tomorrow tomorrow on a Wednesday once again before it expires on Friday so it's only an SBC that we can get done twice but it's not that expensive it's what was it 84 and 85 rated squats 85 and 86 no special requirements in there you just get lots of fodder right anytime you turn in to an SBC less players than what you get out of it that's always a dub so a chance here to pack some level up players and to uh, potentially hit something big from that one but I mean all the fodder that I got back from this, all the fodder that a lot of you guys are maybe getting back from it, I have not done the 90 plus icon player picks yet, but with those 8325s, all that fodder, man, I'll say it again. I said it in yesterday's video. Guys, we need, badly we need another icon player SBC. We need like a Hullet. We need a Pele. Uh, we've had the Dino. We've had a couple, like we had Shapeshifter Zambrato. We had Foot Birthday Cantona. We need another top tier, top level icon, whether it's a prime version for the, some of those icons I just mentioned. I doubt EA would give us a Shapeshifter Pele or even a Team of the Year Root Hullet. I doubt they would do that, but we just need a big time SBC to craft, to work for, to chip away because right now on this game, the upgrade pack content is unbelievable one of the other sbcs we had yesterday was the 81 plus player pick and at first when this was dropped ea incorrectly dropped it and you could only do it one time it was not unlimited repeatable they've redropped it it is the same exact requirements the same exact sbc five golds and you get an 81 plus player pick one of three but the issue is this sbc expires now in four days which according to the way that it's expiring it's going to be out for Friday for Level Up Team 2 at content unless EA changed that timer. And that is very interesting. Not often do we have player picks available on a promo Friday. That's actually a big W in my opinion. So th those were all our SBCs yesterday. Really not a lot going on besides that 83 times 25. But maybe you might have seen this. Maybe you've saw other people opening some Ultimate Tots player picks yesterday 
EA compensated the Brazilian Portuguese packs from like a month ago during Ultimate Team of the Season that had the glitched wording here inside of the store. If you remember people changing their languages and opening packs, um, that was one of that compensation, what it was for, basically. I don't think they're done with it yet. They haven't not they haven't tweeted anything. So if you're still awaiting compensation, they still uh, may not be done with that. We also had a brand new 500k pack, and I gotta tell you guys, this is the biggest scam of a store pack I have ever seen, literally ever. You're paying 500,000 coins for three players, or if you're gonna spend 500k or the 3,000 FIFA points, you could spend 500k or 3,000 FIFA points for 100 players and be able to craft all that back into an SBC. Guys, we opened a couple of these on stream yesterday as people were very brave to test it out. And the best card that we had, I think, was like Team of the Season, Honorable Mentions, Shun Min Sun. There was a lot of low-level, very fodder TOTS cards inside of this. We didn't see a single Trophy Titans icon as a part of this pack as well even though it's all 93 plus with 194 guys this is not good value at all it is fun to gamble on it but i mean it just seemed like the weight was really really bad on that that was kind of crazy i did open the 500k pack yesterday i opened the super elite pack the one with 100 players in it and i packed golden Mbappe for the first time this entire fifa that was uh, that was kind of cool to pack Mbappe for in his gold version for the first time um now let's talk about the market a little bit because as expected there was a pretty crazy rise on a couple of these guys i bought davies at 700 on the video yesterday he went all the way to 930 i bought timo Werner at about 515k no i bought i bought timo in the in the video not alfonso davies um but I mean, Timo went up really nicely yesterday. He went up about 100,000 coins. He was about 650K at his peak. And uh, some of these guys, you know what? They actually haven't had big drop-offs. I was wondering if into the nighttime, Monday night into Tuesday, early morning hours today on Tuesday, if they would get really, really low. And they really haven't, which is interesting because I guess people aren't feeling the need to sell these cards and to panic sell them if there's not weekend league rewards that are being opened even though i'm sure just hour by hour that we keep going on people are completing these objectives and not needing these lower tier cards anymore because again we've been talking about it once you complete the objective the lower tier card literally becomes irrelevant right so i would still be careful when trading and trying to mess around with these cards if you're trying to get the objectives done i think they're still going to have some price fluctuations they just might not be as crazy of fluctuations that we saw, of course, on the weekend when like Renato Sanchez went from 10 million coins all the way down to, you know, 5.8 and then back to 7. And now he's just yesterday. The graphs are, yes, you had a nice rise in the morning, but they're a lot more, you know, like level. Right. So that's kind of where these cards are at right now. They're not moving as much. I still think it all depends on content as to where they move throughout the rest of the week in terms of big panic sell offs. But again, the more we go throughout the week, the more and more people are getting these objectives done. And uh, especially by the time we get to like Thursday, even as we get towards Friday with a new team, a second team of level up coming, I would still have to imagine that these guys would end up dropping down a bit further um, and then potentially rising a bit out of packs after that. But until we get to Friday, I'm still being very careful with these. If you're doing the objectives, like I'm grinding Sterling right now. I'm also grinding the, the end of Shalana Glue and uh, Cavani. And I'm, man, I'm very tempted to go after Alfonso Davies because that card looks phenomenal for his upgraded card now let's talk about today on fifa a bit more what kind of content could we have on a tuesday ea we need a player spc we already talked about it an icon player spc or like an end of an era's latan would be the perfect grind right now for this game with the upgrade packs being as good as they are the level of crafting upgrade we're giving you 380 pluses back and an 81 plus player pick which requires less golds than the level up crafting by one and it's still a player pick, which is very nice as well. It's so nice to have both options. We need another SBC to craft something recent, something new. Not like an upgrade pack, but like a player SBC EA. That would be the biggest thing that would help content out today. Apart from that, maybe we get some other sort of like a year in review type of vibe today. Like I, Tuesdays, you know, player SBCs are very common on Tuesdays. But again, I'm just unsure how they would add a player SBC in as a part of this level up promo since... They don't seem to want to upgrade the level up your game objectives with new players. They dropped Savernier. He was kind of all by his own self here with the crafting objective. So that was a bit different. Um, so maybe we get a, a, an SBC today for a player. Watch out for leaks. But uh, hopefully it's something that is nice and grindable with 
many squads or at least a couple of squads that would be just craftable this stage of the game because man these 80 times three packs are just so good the crafting right now is so incredible and it's slightly annoying actually i've started the pack one foyth multiple times um i think i've packed corona tecatito multiple times as well but when you're getting like a board in every single one of these, like up to 83s and that 80 plus double, these packs are so nice. I mean, I'm running out of places to put my 82s and my 83s. And if there was a, at least maybe even a year in review player pick, that would be fun to submit some of those guys into to at least have something else to put them into. That would be nice because at this point, I'm just putting 83s right back into this crafting upgrade. Um, yeah, boom, right there. Another duplicate 83. So that's going to be the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy it, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Check those links down in the description for the EAFC video and for the Twitch stream link where we will be live today. It's been Dave Vodokat, and I'll see you guys on stream today. Peace.